Next up, we're going to be doing some alternate blooms rounds with No Monkey Knowledge over here on Covered Garden. So we're going to head there with Quincy as our hero. We're going to get started by placing Quincy down up and then to the right, up and then to the right. Making sure we get a nice little placement there. Quincy's going to do a above average opening for us here. Popping most of the blooms that are coming our way except for the camo blooms. And really, I think Quincy is one of the better heroes on this map because of the way the window panes work. Tasty. Having a strong early game hero is a big benefit. Wake up. This taking a little bit, though, does give us the chance to talk about the ninja monkey. We're going to put up and then to the right. We're going to slow down as soon as that first batch of balloons comes in. We want to wait till it hits... 540 and then move over this way you can see we have a lot of time up and then to the right if you can't make it in time you can just exit out and come back in and now we'll speed back up it's very important that we get this ninja here up and to the right as much as possible we're going to be heavily relying on this ninja and the alchemist we're going to put up and to the right here in just a moment We're going to need to wait for another rotate here. We don't want to try to put it down even though we're going to have money right before the end of the round. We want that alchemist all the way up here and to the right. This is to keep everything nice and consistent. Up and then to the right. Up right there. We're going to set it to strong and then come back over here and get ready to buy the Seeking Shuriken. Make sure you get this upgrade before the round ends. There we go. And again, make sure this is on strong or you're going to miss those lead blues. Wake up. In almost every instance, you do want your alchemist on strong, especially in the early games. We're going to be waiting for another rotate around, and then we're going to get ninja discipline and sharp shurikens on this ninja monkey here. I always want to say sharper shurikens. Because most of the other upgrades in this game have that adjective there. Sharp shurikens, right there. I wonder why the shurikens weren't originally sharp. Perhaps a question for another day? We're going to be waiting for stuff to go around again here. Leaking just a little tiny bit. But don't worry, the Alchemist plus Ninja Monkey is strong and it's going to get us through here. We're going to get the Acidic Mixture Dip right here. And then we're going to come back over here and get the Caltrops and speed back up. Look at that. Not bad. Especially since we're floating all this money and we've already leaked a little bit of extra money on top of that. We get to get away with being a little bit greedy here. We come back over here, and we're going to get the double shot, and then get the stronger acid, and speed back up again. We're still working towards our goal of having Bloom Jitsu and a 4-2 Alchemist before round 40. And sadly, we're not going to really get too much in the form of upgrades here because Lunjutsu is expensive and neither of these two upgrades really do anything for us at this point. We don't want to get those mid-range upgrades and then not be able to get Lunjutsu before we need it. Double Shout's pretty good and Quincy can see camo now. You can definitely see how hard this level is though, at 47 lives with a really streamlined build. I'm gonna grab Bloom Jitsu now, and speed back up. On the next go around we're gonna get this upgrade and this upgrade. So we'll have a 3-2 Alchemist at that point. Round and round we go.
I guess we're doing something right if we're taking care of ceramics like that. And of course, camo blooms are not a problem. All of our money's in Ninja Monkey, so Berserker Brew, Perishing Potions, and speed back up. Luckily, once we get this stronger stimulant, we're not going to have to build anything else in the window pane area for the rest of the run, which I know is a good thing to hear at this point. Having to play by these rules really allows a lot of different things to go wrong. So make sure we're ready for round 38 here. You don't want to miss it, so make sure you're really ready and close back out and come back in if you need to. Because we have a reinforced mob coming up and those things are very strong. We're going to come back up here and put down a monkey ace up until red, to the right until red, up. And then we can speed back up here. We're going to upgrade towards the fighter plane. For round 40, you want to have the fighter plane and the sharper darts. If you do both of these things, you're going to see Quincy barely have to shoot. Here we go, round 40. Everything going as planned, and Quincy gets like one shot off there, and I'm not sure the projectile really even does anything. So we are going to slow things down here for just a moment. We're going to come over here and go up until red to the right until red, up, right there. We're gonna upgrade the Guided Magic, the Arcane Blast, and then the Monkey Sense. We're gonna get Shimmer and get ready to get the Necromancer upgrade. This is a nice little upgrade to have at this point. And it also gives us a fair bit of speed as we pop a lot of stuff early on in the track. Almost there, buy that upgrade now. And then from here we can place down our monkey village. It's gonna go down until red, to the right until red, down, to the right. Make sure you really take your time with this monkey village. Down, to the right. There we go. We're gonna get the bigger radius and the jungle drums. Then we're gonna come up here and get a heli pilot. We want the heli pilot to go down, and then to the right down to the right make sure it's really down that's the important part of this we're gonna go over here we're gonna get the quad darts and the pursuit and then we're gonna get the faster darts the faster firing and save up for mob shove and the reason we're going for mob shove here is because the tier 4 upgrade is really reasonably priced if we went the top path, it costs 21k to get that upgrade, and it's too much of a bank to build up without having to worry about it leaking here. We're going to come back up here again. We're going to put down an alchemist. It goes down until red, to the right until red, down, to the right, and then down, right there. We're going to set it to strong and spam upgrades until we get to stronger stimulant. We're going to get stronger acid and perishing potions. And then we're going to come back here for a bit and save up for the Comanche defense. Almost there. Halfway there now even. This upgrade is really good for a mid-game power spike, and that's what we're going to be abusing quite a bit here. We're even going to get a secondary one. That's how strong I think this tower is. Comanche defense online, and now it's very important to come back over here and start saving up for your radar scanner. Necromancer and Bloonjutsu are good, but we need a little bit more than that here. 
Now we're going to come back this way and put an alchemist up until red, to the right until red, and then up. Right there. That's to make it so that we don't have trouble placing down the alchemist later. And then it goes up until red right here for this heli pilot. Up. And then to the right. Up. Right there. And you should have plenty of wiggle room to get this down. You can see we're not even fully pixel perfect there, so you have a little bit of room. It is a tougher placement, so up until red, and then to the right. Right there. We're going to get the quad darts, the pursuit, and then upgrade the bottom path again. We want that Moab shove. Then we're going to come back over here and set this to strong. We're going to upgrade this to the acidic mixture dip. We're going to get the stronger acid and the perishing potions. More. And we're saving up for Berserker Brew and Stronger Stimulant, as you might expect. Just a little bit more here. There we go. What a nice upgrade. And we could go immediately for the Comanche defense here, but I think we need a little bit more mob damage. So we're going to come back up here and get the Operation Dart Storm first. As we can see, mobs are getting pretty far along here. So Operation Dart Storm online. And we're going to come back down here and save up for the Comanche defense. Just another 7k or so. And we can see here this is really doing a lot of work. It's a weird tower that I don't necessarily think is good on every map, but here it really fits what we needed. This also up here is going to do a lot of work, even though it's not going to have the highest number. It's doing damage to mobs very early on in the track. And we see there they're popping right here instead of, for instance, over here. While we pull 8,000, almost 9,000. Almost there. Two Comanches online. Very cool, right? Then we're going to come back here and we're going to go up until red. To the right until red and then up. We're going to upgrade the quad darts and the pursuit and then upgrade the downdraft here. This is just going to help us from allowing balloons getting too far along the track. We know we have the mob damage but sometimes balloons get stacked up and we don't want anything to happen here right on round 77. So we come back over here, we go up until red, and then to the right until red, up. We're going to upgrade this to the Berserker Brew, and we can see over here it's kind of hard to see actually. But this should be getting the buff from time to time, if we did the placement correctly. Oh there we go. We can see it right there. I knew I checked it in my notes. I just sometimes take a little longer to get to where I wanted to be. So we are going to come back over here, get the stronger stimulant and the faster throwing. This does attack pretty fast, but it's not really a work. We want to have a faster throwing so that we keep a consistent buff between the two. And here we're already on round 80. Look at that, taking care of that ZOMG. And the strategy looks really strong, doesn't it? Not what you would really expect from a double Comanche defense build. But there you have it, our Monkey Star was the Comanche defense with 156,000 pop. Just 
slightly below one third of our overall pop count. And there we go. Covered Garden alternate blooms rounds with no monkey knowledge. Thanks for watching.